Hello, this is Logan Murphy, and today we will be inserting a user into our database. So what we're going to do is create a function that will do that process for us. This function will return an int, which will be actually long, which will be the uh, user ID that we just inserted, and we'll call this insert user. In order to insert a user, we need a connection, email, password, and a birthday. Okay, now this kind of lost its place, so let's put it where it belongs. Save it. And we're going to come up here and include that java.sql.star. Save it. And we're going to come down here, and there's now we've imported two date classes, so we have to specify that this is java.util.date date and there should be a dot this will also be java.util.date uh, this is only because we're reporting two classes with the exact same name so we have to uh, specify which one we are interested in okay so we've done that we're going to do a giant try catch And we're going to start off with a long ID equals negative 1. Now, negative 1, as you may know, uh, when we have an auto increment field, you can never have a negative number. So if this ever returns a negative number, it means that this function failed at inserting a user. So what we're going to do is prepared statement. Uh, call it ps, and we're gonna call it, we're gonna call c's uh, prepare statement function, which will insert into user uh, email password birthday values question question question. Okay. So that'll be our prepared statement, and we will ps dot set uh, string one, and that'll be email ps dot set string two, and that will be password, and ps dot set string three. And we're going to use our simple date format up here. Use it the exact same way down here. Format. And this should be set date. Just make sure that's correct. So the problem is that this is expecting a SQL date. So we have to use dot sql dot date d equals new uh, java sql date Oops. and as an argument we'll take this whole thing dot um, look for get time put that in there as an argument and for here we'll put D D so when we we create the date then we, we create the date format then we parse the birthday then we get the time since epoch we take that time since epoch put it into this new date and it ends up being a SQL date instead of a regular util date and we set the date here and we'll do ps dot execute something that we didn't do statement dot uh, return generated keys now this is how we get the uh, the ID of the user we're inserting uh, so we need to get result set or s equals ps dot uh, 
uh, get generated keys if rs dot next uh, id equals rs dot get long one and that'll be it that'll be what our function is so before we are done we should close the prepare statement before that we should close the result set just to clear up any data so we'll get rid of that come down to here we're still having this problem Put that here Okay, so we'll come back up to here. This is where we consider all of our input to be good. So we should get a connection, and we're going to use our MySQL classes connect function. And then if C is not equal to null, make sure we actually connected. At that point, we're going to insert user. And that takes a connection, an email, password and a birthday and that will give us an, a long ID then we'll see if ID is not equal to negative one then we'll take the session object dot set attribute and we will we made a constant for this uh, I believe it's in the template so we'll do template dot and we call it user ID and this will be the value ID else uh, this is actually going to be an email error the only way that this could be the only way that this function could fail is if uh, the email is not unique so that's an email error so we'll just say that email is already in use Okay, so we'll save it, format it, go down here, and it's still doing this. Go down here, everything seems to be fine. So what we're going to do is save it, and right click it, and we will run as, run on server, finish. Okay, we're going to restart the server now. Let's run this in the browser. Okay, so we're here. I'm going to just use my email. submit. So it says that this email is already in use. Now we can always look at our database and see if that is in fact true. So just right click this edit table data and it's not true. So what we should do is come back here make sure everything we wrote here is correct. Now something that could be helpful is debugging. I don't think we're going to need it. So let's look at this function. So get long. So column index. First column is one. Okay. Okay. So ID. So what we're going to do is maybe we're doing something wrong. So we'll throw a new error here. E, and we're just going to see if everything. This shouldn't be the only exception unless there is a uh, copy somewhere. So we should make sure that there's there we catch any errors. So come back to Firefox, refresh, and we see that we're getting an error now. Um, it says shop users doesn't exist, so I'm probably calling it by the wrong name. So it's just user. So that's the problem. So we're going to come up here. 
just call this user, save it, refresh, now saying unknown column.